Google Notebook LM a complete step by step tutorial. Hey guys, it's Cheyenne and welcome to this step by step complete tutorial of Google Notebook LM that can actually change the way that you create contents. It can go ahead and create many kind of contents for you including a completely written blog post, including answers to any questions, including FAQ. It can also go ahead and generate a full fledged audio podcast as well with multiple speakers. Now it doesn't stop over here. It actually eliminates any kind of vague data and make sure that you get only the results that you want to. Now, if that sounds interesting to you, then please stick on with me till the end of this Google Notebook LM tutorial because I'm going to decode everything about Google Notebook LM in this short little tutorial and everything is going to be step by step so that a beginner can also start Google Notebook LM right away. So again, if this is the first time that you are into this channel, then please consider subscribing to this channel because in this very channel, I do do uncover any and every brand new AI tool that can help you to win the race. So if you're new to this channel, consider subscribing to this channel. And without further ado, let's head over to our laptop and let's start. So as you can see over here, I'm right within notebook lm.google. So this is the URL that you need to type in, right? And once you do that, you just need to hit on try notebook lm. Now remember, it's absolutely free to sign up. You just need to enter your Google ID, that is your Gmail ID, and boom, you'll be inside of notebook lm that should look like this. Now, in here, as you can see, I have already made a couple of case studies using Notebook LM. Now, right in front of you, I'm going to create everything from the scratch. Don't worry. So first things first, what Notebook LM does for you is that uh, what is the difference between Notebook LM and other AI search engines like ChatGPT, Grok or anything that you find on the market? What they do is that they actually scrape the Internet and they come up with the answers. Now, now since Internet allows anybody and everybody to publish a blog, or publish a YouTube video, not all of the information that's on there on the internet is correct, right? I hope you are getting the point. Now you want to learn from anyone who you trust, right? So there comes Notebook LM. In Notebook LM, you can actually tell it to update its knowledge base with your source document. You can provide it a YouTube video, you can provide a blog, you can upload your own PDF files, you can do whatever you wish to. And the AI will learn from that and it would actually answer or it will actually respond to you from those documents. So in a way, it makes sure that you get the best results, right? So let's check out Google Notebook LM in action. So in here, what we need to do is come over here and click on create new. Now, as soon as we do so, you can see here it comes like add sources. Now in here, you can go ahead and add up to 50 sources in the free version. And if you are in the plus plan, you can even go ahead and add 300 sources. Now, 50 sources are more than enough, right? Now you can go ahead and upload your sources. That can be any kind of file, like a PDF file, a text file, a markdown file, or any audio. Say, for example, you have a recording that you want to upload and learn from. You can do that. If you have a call recording, say, for example, in a support kind of environment, you have a support manual which you want to upload. You can do all of that, right? Now, you can even go ahead and upload things from your Google Drive, your Google Docs or Google Slides. You can upload any link that you want to. It can be any website link, that is any blog link, any article link, whatever you wish to. Or it can be links from YouTube as well. Or you can even go ahead and write your own text as well. That's up to you. And as I already said, on the free version, the source limit is 50, right? So that's quite a lot. Now, say, for example, uh, let's pick up a case study. I want to learn about AI tools, just for an example, right? And just for the sake of this video, let us assume that I know nothing about AI tools. So where to go? I'll go over straight over to YouTube, right? And in here, I should search for best AI tools, right? Best AI tools in 2025 and hit on enter. Now, in here, you are getting many things, but I want to see only the popular ones and uh, the videos from people I trust. Say I have a list of them, right? So what I can do is that I can come over here and individually check these videos or I can just come over to this filters, click on that and I can filter it by channel. Like I, I have uh, seven or eight trustworthy channel maybe. So I can actually list them over here or I can do it on the basis of features or I can do it on the basis of relevance as well, like upload date, view count rating whatever it is so i'm going to actually go by view count so that i can get the highest 
grossing tools, right? So in here, I am getting one of them, like seven AI tools that will make you rich. So I want this one. So what I can do is that will come over here, right click on this. And then I can just copy the link address from here. Just click on that and then come over to your notebook. And in here, click on YouTube. And then you just need to paste your YouTube URL, just like this, right? And once you have done that, just click on insert. And as you can see, it's processing the data over here and it's pretty fast as you saw, right? And you can see over here, it has actually gone on all of these, right? Now I'm not going to stop over here in the same way. Let us find out some more relevant AI tool videos. Actually, let's go over and sort this by relevance because uh, whenever I'm going by count, what is happening is that instead of listing of AI tools, it's giving me a specific AI tool. That is what I don't want. I want to see rather tools, right? Now in here, you can see best AI tools you need to try. So this one is another good one. So let's go ahead and actually copy and let's add this as another source. Now to add as another source, you just need to come over here and click on add. And then again, you can add different kind of sources as well. So let's go ahead and go for YouTube again and let's paste this one on insert and boom it would be added now i'm quickly going to go through all of these i'm not going to waste a lot of time over here so let's quickly do this i'm going to make it fast so that uh you can just see the selection but i'm not going to waste your or mine time in uh doing this real time right so let's start So now, as you can see, I've already added five sources. Now, I want to say you one thing over here. I just want to illustrate this case over here. Say, for example, I am a content creator. Now, AI tools are vast. They are on all aspects. So I, let me make sure that I have enough of content creation as well. So I will write best AI tools for content creators in 2025, right? And hit on enter. Now, this one I've already copied. So I'm not going to take this one. Okay, so this one is a good one to have. So let's go ahead and copy this. So boom, I have actually added 10 sources right and i make sure that i have added all of this but again this was done pretty quickly if you have time i would suggest that you only pick up genuine sources and add them over here that's the only thing that you need to do rest everything would be handled by the AI. i'm really showing that don't worry now that this is done i have completed the knowledge base part right so these are my sources over here now remember there is one more thing called discover sources now this would actually allow notebook lm to search anything from outside of these sources so i'm not allowing this because i want all of the information to be based on these sources only right now on the right hand side you can find one thing called studio and in here is every little functionality that you desire you can go ahead and generate an audio this can be a conversation between a couple of people or a single people giving a speech as well all of that you can customize from here i am going to actually tell you exactly how to do this in a little while then there is notes how you can prepare notes like you can add study guide you can add a briefing doc you can generate a timeline or you can also create a faq as well all of that is pretty much doable now so let's go ahead and start with a podcast audio podcast right so what i'll do is that it is a deep dive conversation of two hosts and it would be done on english only as you can see over here right now let's customize it on the customize i can tell it like things to try focus on a specific source that is i can mention a source particular source from which it can go ahead and create that or i can specific specify a topic or i can specify an audience as well so what i'm trying to do over here is that i'm trying to focus my podcast on ai tools for video generation right so let's give it a try so i've given like ai tools for video generation and its advantages right and now hit on generate and i'm not going to cut anything over here because i just want you to take a look at how fast this is i have uploaded 10 different sources it's actually going through 10 of them and it's actually trying to bring out the information and then it's going to format it in a dialogue wise thing like a podcast and then it is going to create the script for it it will create the voiceover for you and then finally you would get the output as well so it is pretty pretty fast over here so you can see it's processing it so uh, let's wait a little bit over here i'm going to mention the time it took right don't worry now one more thing that i want to tell you over here is that you don't need to stick around that is uh, you can it, it can do this on the background while you can create other things as well so that's pretty cool and boom it has gone ahead and created this of 18 minutes 38 seconds and it specifically took around uh, i would say one minute 50 seconds or maybe maybe max to max two minutes right and this is what we have got so you can see this is in the interactive mode and let's go ahead and play this and let's hear a part of it i'm not going to play it for 18 minutes definitely so let's put on my headphone as well so that i can hear along with you okay so let's start it's almost a given now isn't it 
whether you're running a business, uh, building a personal brand, or just trying to share stuff online, video content is just, well, it's everywhere. Oh, absolutely. Essential. And you probably felt this right. Staring at that screen, thinking, okay, another social clip, another presentation. Where does the time even come from? Exactly. That pressure is, uh, it's very real. The sheer yeah. amount of video people feel they need now, it can yeah. feel, yeah, pretty overwhelming. And the old way of doing it, you know, filming, editing. No. It eats up so much time and, frankly, money. It really does. A significant drain. Okay. Awesome. Awesome. I must say, like, uh, the kind of interactions that were going on, the voiceover quality, the kind of script that is, it really, really sounds like an original podcast that has been created. So the opportunities, again, are endless. You can just come over here, click on these three dots. You can change the playback speed. You can download this. Or if you don't find it good enough, you can delete this as well. I found it pretty interesting. So let's actually download this. And I, I must say, this is quite awesome, right? Now, don't be overwhelmed. I have not yet uh, scratched the surface because this is just one part that I have shown you. Let's dive deep into the other part that is creating notes. Now, from here, you can come over here and create a study guide. Say, for example, you want to create a study note for any of your students or for, for your course that you have, right? So let's click on study guide. And you can see over here, it's creating the study guide based on these 10 sources, right? And boom, there you go. It has actually created this. So let's click on this and look at this. Mastering AI for Business in 2025, a comprehensive study guide. And in here, you can see it has been differentiated into different paragraphs. It has actually gone ahead and made the classification. It has uh, it has created this key concepts and themes, right? Like a summary thing. Then you can go ahead over here and you can see quiz test your understanding. So this can be very, very beneficial if you have a course, right? And then it has also gone ahead and given you the answers to those quizzes as well. So again, you can see it's completely done for you. Then you can see essay format questions are also available. So you can actually create your total question based things as well from this and then there is a glossary of the key terms where you can find the definition of all the key terms that were used so that is quite a great thing to have now remember these notes need to be saved right so you you have to save this so that this becomes available whenever you come over here so let's go back to the studio and in here just click on these three dots and then if you don't want this you can delete the note as well then you can go ahead and create a briefing doc so let's hit on that and you can see it's generating the briefing doc and these are mind-blowing it's these actually give you fast response and create some amazing amazing stuff so let's wait for the briefing doc to be created and there you go the briefing doc has been created as well you can see over here ai tools briefing document and in here it has totally briefed everything you can see it is a way content reads things where here you can find all the tools and what they does like presentations ai coral ai hosting a website builder you can see zapier is there you can see notebook lm comes up as well so that's quite amazing then you can see Google Mariner comes up, which is upcoming. Then Chat GPT Writer, TDO AI, DocuAsk, Microsoft Copilot, Adobe Firefly, Chat GPT, Ocean IO, Autopod, Photo Room, Synthesia. Opus Clip, Descript, Canva. Now, many of these I myself use, like Opus Clip, I use, I use Canva, I use Descript, I also use Synthesia as well, I use Hagen as well. So, Murph AI, Podcastle, DVAI, Wix AI, Jasper AI, Copy AI, Gling AI, Rika Studio. So, you can see there are plenty of AI tools that has been selected. In here, you can see Hagen. I've already told you I use myself as well. So, it has gone ahead and listed some pretty, pretty great stuff. Now, you can find all their little briefs over here and you can find exactly their use cases as well. So so you can go through this brief document and you can actually learn everything from the 10 sources. So that's quite amazing, right? Now you can also go ahead and create the FAQs and the timeline as well. In the same way, you can just hit on the FAQ and it will generate the FAQ for us. And as you can see, it has created the FAQ. Now, how is AI expected to impact jobs? Quite a relevant questions, right? Then what are the some key AI tools that can benefit a business and individuals? So in here, it has given the tool names, right? Then you can see what type of content creation can be done by AI and then how can businesses leverage AI for sales and marketing. So you can see all of these are relevant. It's not like something coming out of the blue, right? So that's what I wanted to tell you. And last but not the least, there is a timeline as well, which actually generates you a sequence step by step kind of uh, blueprint, which you can follow to create contents using AI. So you can see over here, it has given this timeline and you can see some of them are ongoing. Some of them are past. 
and some of them are future as well so you can see accordingly it has given a timeline of which tools came up at which time all of these are over here now that being said that was all their built-in things like the podcast the study guide the briefing dog the faq and the timeline all of this was inbuilt what if i want a specific question i can just come over here on this typing and i can ask any question that i wish to say for example i want to list down tools that can create avatar videos so let's go ahead and ask them so i've told it like which tools are recommended for creating avatar videos right and let's hit on enter and let's see what response we get so uh there you go it has come up over here and it is giving us a few options over here here you can see hain is the tool that allows you to create your custom ai avatar by uploading five minutes video of yourself that's quite amazing then you can see 11 labs is there which can actually clone your voice and then there is synthesia synthesia i have used myself for creating ai avatars and it offers you 160 different ai avatars so that's quite cool then my personal favorite hygen ai it can create your youtube style talking head videos i have many of them and uh, this is quite flawless it cr creates a complete clone of you including your voice and everything so if you want to look out i'll link it in the description you can take a look at uh, at that as well now ap apart from that there is vid.io again it can create short form clips with ai avatars then there's human pal human pal is another tool that i use myself and it's a one time paid option which you can consider as an alternative to heygen or synthesia however heygen and synthesia are the leading ones but if you're looking for a one time option human pal is also good i've used it and last but not the least it has given video express ai because it has this consistent ai character feature and with which you can create avatar videos as well so it's quite a good one to have it it gives you a certain position to start up if you have no ideas you can just take these names and then go for the specific tools as well so that's a quite a good thing to have now let's go ahead and ask it which one it suggests for a voiceover so i've given what are the best voiceover ai tools right and let's hit on enter and boom there you go the first one definitely 11 labs that is correct and you can see it has also listed the features that it has why it thinks it's the best then there's morph ai again it's a great one as well then there's podcastle again a great one as well then there's a human talk which you can consider as a sub Substitute for 11 labs it offers unlimited text to speech at a one time price so you can see over here then there is descript as well then there is synthesia hygen ai vid.io all of that because all of them comes with the speech option as well so this is quite amazing the kind of results that it is giving and the kind of accuracy that it has makes it an amazing amazing stuff to have now let's go for a final test let us ask uh, if there is any image to video kind of tool i have said like please list three best image to video creating ai tools right so let's go ahead and see what it comes up with so it has come up with video express ai sora from open ai and it has also come up with hello ai and polo ai so these are the use for consistent character video generation as you can see and other tools it has also mentioned like adobe firefly canva are also good at it right apart from this it has also mentioned tools like synthesia hage and vid.io so all of this it has come up with and again remember it would only answer from these sources nothing outside that so say for example if i am asking it anything related to something which is out of these uh, sources it won't answer me say for example i want to ask it how uh, to learn java just for an example now java is a programming language i hope you know but I, it, it is it should not be mentioned over here so that's why i had given this question so let's see the answer based on the sources there is no direct information about how to learn java sources primarily focus so showcasing various ai tools for business content creation video editing and marketing right while some tools like google ai studio are mentioned for providing step-by-step -step guidance on tasks like software like microsoft excel this is not the same thing as learning a programming language like java look at this answer it has given a concrete answer it has also told you that like Google AI Studio has this capability of being like a co-pilot with you and help you to learn any and every tool. But then it cannot actually help you to learn a programming language. So that's quite amazing. It can help you to learn any any tool which has a UI where you, you can click or type in a command and get something. But if it is a programming language, if it's logic, it can give you the logic, but it can't code for you, right? So that's the kind of thing that we have. And that's it. That's the power that I wanted to show you. Now, if you are going over to chat GPT or Grok AI or Gemini or wherever you want to, if you are asking anything, it will just scrape the internet for any kind of information. It can be a true, it can be false, it can be misleading, whatever it is, it will scrape it out and then it will come up with it. But this kind of gives you a more control over the results that you want to get because you can always feed in 
better things like say for example you are having a news channel and you want to create contents for it so you can actually list out some news channels that you trust the videos from those channel on the relevant topic and make it from there right so that would eliminate any unnecessary fuss now with that being said i really hope that you have enjoyed how you can use google notebook lm and how you can use it to your good effect so with that being said it brings me to an end of this complete tutorial on google notebook lm i hope that you guys have enjoyed this to the point straight away tutorial if you have help me with a like let me know in the comments if you have got any questions and also don't forget to subscribe to this channel because in this very channel you get this kind of videos that can help you to win the race against ai so with that being said we'll meet again pretty soon somewhere over the internet until then please take care of yourself and your families and don't forget to keep making money online signing off is shine from in care academy take care bye bye